welcome back to another video. So, I'm still doing local stuff and all the stuff. It's just really hard for me to continue series because I keep getting all these new ideas. So, I'm starting a homemade TCG. It's called Creature Combat. This is going to be like what the first like, booster packs look like. We have Blobin, which is the first card on the front there. And here is... Let me just set this down further. Okay, wait a minute. So, yeah, we got the first one I made was Blobin. So Blobin, he's got 35 health. I'm going to work on the game mechanics a bit more later, but he's got 35 health. He's a common... And here's the back, creature combat. This means the um, set, and this is the card from the set. So that's Blobin. The next one I made, I believe, was Stellium. So I've only made nine so far, but I'm currently going to make some more, and there's going to be 100 cards in this set. And there's also going to be spells too, but for now I'm just making monsters. So we got Stellium, which is a metal type you can see here. All the types are water, fire, ground, nature, metal, electric, enchanted, air, dark, and light. So we got Stellium. He's an uncommon, so he's got a bit better stats. His first attack, it needs three powers, so that's like what's gonna that's in that's that's a bit more of the game mechanics, but yeah, twenty-five uh attack and and his HP is 90, which is, it, it's okay. It could be a bit better, though. So then the third one I made was a wave man over here. You can see he's arriving the waves. If I had to choose, I'll show you my favorite artwork so far in the bit. But anyway, yeah, serves up 15 for three power. It's not bad. And then all waters on the field, water monsters on the field gain 10 attack for their attacks. And then wave, and he's got 65 health, which is, again, I mean, it's okay for a common, but it's not that good. And then the fourth one I made, I believe, was Magman. So Magman, he's like a magma rock guy. It really came faded out on the printer, so it doesn't look too good, but solving that problem. 80 health, he's another common. Even smash 20 power it takes foul core but if your opponent's target monster it, it like the opponent if the monster you're targeting is a water type it does uh five more attacks so that's like 25 so a decent what uh, magman's a decent card and then the next one i made i believe was rockinoggin rockinoggin's another common 70 hp so Okay, he's and he only has two like standard attacks. He has pound twenty and smash twenty five. So he's actually not a bad comment. It's just you need a lot of power to use it. Him. Then the next one I made was this is like my favorite artwork by far and my favorite card in general. It's Sergeant Flytrap. He's a nature type. He's got ninety five, which is the highest, um, I believe so far. Yeah. The highest so far. There is one, the two I'm currently making though right now are higher than him, but his attack is pretty good. Deploy 15, only three power. You may play two monsters on the field this turn. If they are placed this way, they gain 10 HP. So that's pretty good. So then if you place like say you place the rock and noggin using this method, because you can have like um, I think you you can you're, I think we're, you're going to be allowed to have four monsters. So if you place this guy, when he gets down, he has 80 HP now, which is honestly not that bad. So that's that's my favorite. He is a rare, so yeah. Then the next one I made was Zap and Warrior. This is going to be kind of like an archetype. Like, you know, like in Yu-Gi-Oh! and Chaos Galaxy TCG, by the way. Check him out. He's the inspiration for all of this. He's an electric type, only 50 health, but has a decent attack. It doesn't take much power. And there's going to be a lot of other Zap and um things in the archetype the next one which was the second last one i made i believe was evil dupledorf so i'm gonna make a good dupledorf too but he's kind of like a bear guy with his tail there 70 hp which isn't bad and his attacks are pretty good they just need a lot of power to use them and then the ninth one the last one i've fully made so far is um
wicked baseball bat, which is enchanted at a 40 HP. And then there's a smash and home run. So some pretty good things. He's an enchanted type, which is like all enchanted things. So anyway, guys, I'm looking to do some more stuff. So see you next time on Florida Vista TV, Future Combat.